Hi guys. Okay, I'm back. It's me. I'm back. No more ratchet chick. What was her name? Bonetta Pikmisha Jenkins. Hey Sasha. I'm back. The real me. Okay, so Sasha. I thought you called me. Oh no, I was just saying hi. Mm. Bye, baby. Bye. <laughs> um, so the title of the video. Dress for your man instead of yourself, or dress to impress, to attract men instead of dressing for yourself. A lot of women don't realize that they're dressing for their own comfort and their own approval, mm -hmm. but you should already approve of yourself. If you're single and you're trying to, you know, catch something out there, catch a man, get some attention, you know, you have to dress according to what they find attractive. Okay. You can't dress and wear your look like you like it. You have to dress how they like it because that's what you're appealing to. Okay. You're not going to go into a job interview with what you like to do on your resume or telling them what you like to do instead of what they want you to do or what they expect or what's in the job description. You know, you're not going to go in there saying, oh, well, I'd rather do this than that because. I like it better. No, you're going to go in there with what they need and what they want so that they can give you the career and the lifestyle that you're trying to get. Right. So, uh, so many women, when they try to level up, when they come in the level up group, they're still stuck in that mindset of dressing for self. You cannot dress for self if you want a man, especially one that's going to take care of you. You've got to dress to impress. OK, when they say dress to impress, it doesn't mean dress to impress yourself. It means dress to impress others. OK, not yourself. <laughs> so. The thing is. If you're stuck in that mentality, comfort, you know, this is what I like. I like looking like this. I like feeling like this. Then you're going to find that. If it's not attractive to most guys, then you're probably not going to get approached by the type of guys you like, want. Okay. So I always suggest a couple of things to make sure, you know, you're appealing. Um, hair. Hair first and foremost. Y'all cut my finger. I'm sorry. Hair first and foremost. Okay. If it's your hair or somebody else's hair or a wig, it doesn't matter. It just needs to look appealing to what men find attractive okay i have i have wigs for days i have my own hair uh, i have human hair wigs synthetic wigs i got them all okay but i know which ones um my husband likes the best i know which one he um says uh treats me better when i'm wearing <laughs> it's you know these experiments will help you you know, I think when I have my real hair and it's flat ironed, he likes that the, the best. But second place would be the long human hair wig. Because I used to have hair, uh, you know, long like that. So he likes my hair like it's supposed to look or how it used to look or straightened. I know that. OK, he doesn't mind it curly at all, but he likes it better straightened okay get better treatment get better, get more gifts you know get more benefits <laughs> so get taken out more you know so you have to dress according to what they find attractive i think um i was watching what's his name um derek jackson's channel and he had um, that Steve Harvey clip where Steve Harvey was saying if his wife or his woman wasn't dressing for him and didn't look according to what he liked, he would step out, which he, which he basically did when he left his old wife or his new wife. And he was telling the truth. He was just being honest. People were upset with him, but he just told the truth, right? If you are not looking like they want you to look or how they feel attracted to you most, they're going to go somewhere else. Even if they say they don't, you don't need all of that. It's not 
necessarily true because if someone has all of that on and he's looking and she looks better than you when you have nothing on, then um, well, what I'm saying is like nothing like face, hair, makeup, then he's going to be interested in that possibly, you know? So make sure <laughs> you have to do it because if you don't, you're just wasting your time and your money and, you know, and things like that. Just because you like it don't mean they do. Just because every other chick has it and it's in style doesn't mean they like it. Okay. You know, I know a lot of the, I know it's springtime and I know it's uh, getting close to summer and everybody's trying to get the curly wigs. Most men don't even like that. I'm just being honest. You know, um, the only reason I would ever get a curly wig is if if I was swimming a lot and didn't want to wash my hair and, and like uh, make it straight. And I just want to throw something on after the pool, you know, just to go run errands. I would throw the curly wig on because it looked like my real hair. But for errands, that's it. I wouldn't wear it as a permanent look if my husband didn't like it, if my boyfriend didn't like it, if I was trying to attract someone who um, was going to spend, you know, major money or, you know, possibly be in a long-term relationship or whatever type of relationship I wanted, you know, so you don't have to throw your curly wigs away. Just save them for when you're not, you know, doing what you need to be doing, you know, errands, stuff like that. Because I had a really good one like two years ago. I don't even know where it is now. It's probably gone. But I only wore it after I got out of the pool. You know, so I wouldn't have to go rush and put myself together. Like if, if they wanted to go run and eat something after, I just threw that on and left. Okay. So that's basically it. So, so yes, another thing. They like, okay, men are really keen about smells. If you smell appealing to them, yeah, so have your lotions, have your perfumes um, on deck because that's part of the seduction. You know, you got to smell good. You know, you're appealing to all, all the senses. So um, have something that smells good on all the time. Another thing, um, you know, clear skin. They, they're right up in your face and they're looking at you. It doesn't matter how much makeup you pile on top of your bad skin. They're going to see something. OK. Um, and there are a lot of skincare products out there that can help you. There's, um, you know, proactive. Uh, there's creams to help, you know, get rid of acne scarring and things like that. Also, um, exfoliation is very important at least once or twice a week, exfoliate all that dead skin off to reveal a new, smoother, more youthful looking uh, skin. Um, they have body exfoliator now too. So you could get everywhere. Okay. So the more you're shining and smooth, they like that because it appears youthful and glowing. Okay. Thank you. So um, <laughs> yes. So an another thing, like when you get out of the shower, a lot of women don't put on lotion or oil or anything like that. You need to, cause that's going to preserve your skin. It's going to keep it from sagging. Um, and maybe cellulite prevention, a little bit helpful. So get you a nice after bath oil or after shower oil and put that on right after you get out of the bathtub, you're going to seal in all that moisture and keep your skin really healthy, supple and young looking. Okay. Um, take supplements, you know, melanin supplements. I mean, not melanin, melatonin. So you can get all your sleep. So you don't get bags. Take, um, you can take any type of multivitamin. I take biotin for hair and nails. I also take liquid collagen. Um, you can keep that in the fridge and take a tablespoon before you go to sleep. It's going to keep you looking your best. You know, that way, it's, even if you get married, 
you know, you, you can always bounce back. If something happens, you never let yourself go. You're always looking up to par. He's going to want to take you everywhere and show you off if you're looking good. OK, if you're looking terrible, he's not going to want to take you out or show you off or do nothing with you at all. But sit at home and watch Netflix. OK, so they want to be proud of you in public. They want other men to envy them because they're with you. So that's what you got to give them. OK, if you don't, they don't have any good reason to take you out. Unless it's your birthday and or anniversary and they have to. But if they're not asking you out on dates, taking you to public places you know, on purpose, multiple times a month, at least, then they they might not want to be seen out with you, you know, um, shoes. Someone talk, talk to me about, talk, up, talk about shoes. Yes. Men like heels, men like sexy sandals and heels. They don't like those old orthopedic granny looking shoes. Uh, make sure that the shoe fits and your toe isn't hanging over it. Make sure you have pedicures. Make sure your toe nails aren't super long and look like claws. Okay. Block heels are okay. Um, if you don't need to wear block heels, then wear regular heels. Some women have to wear block heels because they're a little bit bigger and the other kind of heel will break under pressure. So wear your block heels. Wear um Yeah. So whatever. As long as it looks good and makes your legs look good, wear it. Now, if you're if you're going to tower over him, you know, maybe a kitten heel. Uh, what body language should we have to have to be approached? I'm terrible with body language. Feminine body language. Happy body. Happy body language. Open body language like. <laughs> Always smile. Don't sit there with a frown or resting face. Okay. Sit there with a smile like you have you have a secret. Like, you know, that's more inviting than you know. So oh, you know. Um, I'm having my my drinks and my coffee or, or whatever at the bar and I'm you know smile keep the smile on your face. So many women do not smile. Like what that what pretend to be happy at least. Um so and plus when you smile it makes other people want to smile back, you know. And once they smile back, they feel pressured to talk to you. You know, they're like, oh, hi, how are you? You know, that's how you invite people in. You're if you if you're frowning, they don't even want to they can't smile at you first, because what if you are, you know, upset and you look at them crazy? So if you're smiling already and they smile back and then you say hi or they say hi, it's a conversation starter. It's an invitation. OK. Um, make subtle eye contact and then look away and then smile, you know, they'll come over. Yep. And then, yeah, someone says dress, dress sexy after you get him. Yeah. After you've been in a relationship for a while or after you start dating for a while, still dress good, you know, dress cute. Don't just throw on t-shirts and jeans just because you guys have been, you guys have been together for six months. Okay. The only time I wear t-shirts and jeans is if I have to go to some type of kid function at school and they would look at me crazy if I came looking any other way. Um, or if I'm like cleaning something uh, in the backyard or something, but I don't dress like that. Mm -mm. I don't dress like that. I don't wear like, unless it's pajamas I'm not wearing t-shirts or, um, unless I'm going to the gym, that's it. Don't, I don't even wear sneakers unless I'm in the gym. I, I make it a, a point to wear either cute sandals, cute flats, heels, or, um, cute boots. That's it. I can't do it any other way because it just, I wouldn't even feel right. I would feel like you can do better than this. 
<laughs> so a lot of ladies alpha feminine alpha females aren't super feminine okay if you're an alpha female you're gonna have to act more feminine instead of competing you don't compete with men you compete with other women okay so think about it in the in the olympics do they put men against women no do they let you play on the same basketball team no so why are you competing with men in real life so don't compete with your husband or your boyfriend or when you first meet someone, don't try to compete with them as far as what you do for a living, how smart you are, what you've done, your accomplishment. Don't compete. You know, it's not a competition. E -e -e. If you if you want to compete with anybody, compete, compete with the next chick. OK, uh, compete with yourself, but don't compete with a man. It's not I'm not saying that you can't outdo a man because so many women are. But don't compete with a man you're trying to date. Okay, you can compete with his with a, your your coworker who's a man. You can compete with uh, your friend that's a man, but don't compete with who you're dating with. Okay. Um. Not competing. Just used to being in leadership roles. Yes, being in leadership roles can also you know, sound like you're very controlling. So when you leave your office or when you leave that role as being a leader, get into a different role, okay? Can anyone recommend some supportive flats or sandals? Supportive? Um, I know Skechers has a lot of uh, sandals that have the arch support in them and a lot of um, I think my daughter wears some that's cute uh, we were at we were at, like a lot of the sandals that are cute if you go um, to shoe stores I mean like the big shoe stores like with thousands of pairs of shoes you will find some cute sandals with arch support you just have to really look Okay. Um, so, yes, I have, you know, keep your bag of makeup, keep your bag of makeup, <laughs> you know, because they do appreciate the time and effort you take to look good for them. Okay. They, they, they notice that, you know, oh, wow, you woke up 15 minutes extra, 30 minutes extra, an hour extra to look good. You put yourself together every day. You don't walk around looking crazy. And, you know, when I see you, I'm not automatically disgusted and saying, why did I get married? I'm like, Ooh, look at my wife. Look at look at my girl. Oh, my God. She looks good. You know, now. Yeah. He sees me looking crazy when I first wake up, but not for long. I make sure I comb my hair if it's looking crazy, if I'm still going to lounge in my pajamas. And I make sure pajamas are cute. You know, I got matching pajamas from uh, Victoria's Secrets and Soma. If I'm going to wear, you know, lounge around, I got cute stuff. You know, I'm not trying to lounge around looking like a bum. You get lounge clothes. You got, you know, wealthy people and high class people, they have lounge clothes. They have... Um, party clothes. They have uh, uh, leisure clothes. <laughs> Get you some lounge clothes to wear around the house if you don't want to be always looking put like, you know, in your nice, nice clothes. When you get home and you want to get comfortable, get you a lounge outfit, you know, could be like a comfortable, you know, um, cotton dress and some cute, um, flip-flops or sandals or something like that, or, or, um, slippers, uh, maybe a kimono with a, some, a cute little, um, set under it. It just doesn't matter. Make sure you look cute. What about ripped jeans? Um, it just depends on your man's age. If he's still young and into fads and he's into, um, you know, the latest trend, it, 
I'm sure it's fine. But older guys, they really don't get into that. So I have a pair, I have like one pair of ripped jeans and I don't wear them around James. I wear them when I'm out and about doing my own thing or, you know, whatever, but I still keep the rest of the look classy. So, um, so yeah, you went out yesterday and bought new classic pieces for your wardrobe, nice blazer and a couple of wrap dresses. Yes. You can't go wrong with that because you can basically wear that everywhere all year round. If you want to look pulled pull together real quick, quick, you put on a wrap dress. If you want to look professional or classy real quick and you, with a pair of jeans on, throw on a blazer. That's it. Um, so have, have staple pieces that you can throw together quick and you don't have to like say, I have nothing to wear. <laughs> okay. So men, I think a lot of men love red lipstick. So always have your red lipstick. Okay. They like eyes. So do your eyes up, get you some mascara, some eyeliner. Okay. Um, They like nice looking skin, so um, I don't have any on right now. I don't have any highlight. Y'all usually know that I have on highlighter, but I forgot to put it on this time. But they like glowing skin, so get you a little highlighter. Uh, sometimes they make blush and highlighter that comes together, and this will give you like a little, a little glow and give you a little reflection as well. It's a multitasker if you don't like a lot of products. And some of them even smell good too. So, yes, I have Fenty. I have so much makeup. I just didn't bring it in here, y'all. Uh, yes, red lipstick with a blue undertone. Make your teeth look whiter. Mm-hmm. They don't like all them crazy color lipsticks, though. They don't like the green and then blue and, you know. Stuff like that. So do not wear that around them. <laughs> um, so and also notice they don't like strong perfumes. Like they don't like the old lady perfumes. They don't like that super strong old lady perfume, no matter how expensive. They don't like they like sweet smells, vanilla smells, um, florals, like sweet florals, dark sweet florals or light sweet florals and, you know, maybe some vanilla and stuff like that, citrus, but they don't like that old lady stuff, okay? This is perfect. Like, this is the um, Gardenia Crystal by Kim Kardashian. This is a birthday gift from my friend, Mickey. Thank you, girl. Oh, God. And it, this came with three crystals, like three little quartz crystals. And the bottle, it just lays down like this. It's so cute. Mmm. Smells so Yes. Um, so, and also nails, like guys don't like all that extra stuff on your nails, ladies. I know you like it. I know it's crude. I know it's on Instagram everywhere, but they don't like it. Okay. I don't like all that stuff on your nails. So more simple nails. Um, <laughs> I got to get my redone, but just something simple, you know, polished, nice looking, not too long. Don't put all the designs on it. It's just sometimes it's, it's just, um, you know, I know women like to do all that stuff and, uh, you know, I've done it before. It's fun. It's cute. But, you know, if you're serious about your lifestyle and where it's going and what type of person you want to be with, you got to get serious about these, these, this look. Okay. Mm hmm. Even if it's just one little accent nail, sometimes that's still too much. You know, some people are real conservative. They're like, that's still too much. <laughs> um, it just depends on the age of the guy you're dating, his career, you know, the type of environment that he is in that he might take you to. If, you, if you're not going to fit in, don't wear your nails like that. Yeah. Um, is, are pearls necessary? 
Uh, they're a classic look that go with everything. They have more up-to-date looking pearl necklaces. Like this is one necklace and you just fasten it with one clasp. And it's silver and pearls. You can wear this pretty much with jeans, a dress, a black dress, sweaters, you know, whatever. Um, you can get one set of nice pearls for just that dainty classic look. If you don't, you know, you don't like to accessorize too much, you can do that. I got this at Loft. You know, Ann Taylor, um, you know, she has that loft store. I got this there for like $4 because they were on sale. So, yeah. Make sure when you pick your clothing out in the morning, it's not something that you just like, but something they also like, you know. It's better if you can find something that you both like. You know, I like I like to wear dresses. I like to wear wrap dresses, um, cute sandals or heels. Uh, I li I love makeup. So it's easy for me. Mm -hmm. What about big hooped earrings? No, no, no. Throw those out. <laughs> Throw those away. Okay. I'm wearing navy blue and ruby woo today. Oh, yes, girl. Navy blue. I have on some colorful shorts and these pearls. And this, I'm not going to wear this, though, because I'm going somewhere later. I was invited to a party. Thank you for inviting me. You know who you are. I'm going there. Um, do I think boob job is necessary? If you don't have nothing and if you don't, if you feel like you need some, then get some. Why don't you try them out and get you some like chicken cutlets, some fake ones first that you can put inside your bra and walk around and see if you like the feeling and how people treat you. If you like it, go do it. Mm -hmm. I like my girls. Baby girls, how are you doing? Oh, hey. Um, how to get clear skin? Try Proactive. Get you go to a dermatologist or go get some proactive and, and keep doing it. Keep washing every day. There are also um, pills you can take to kind of like antibacterial. I'm not right, antibiotics that can clear your skin up too. You got to go to dermatologists. You got to invest in yourself. Okay, you can't just buy some over the counter, you know, Noxzema and Clear Seal. That's not gonna work for everybody. You got to go to a specialist. You know, most insurance will cover um, dermatology visits, you know. Someone says apple cider vinegar, lemon and honey, sugar, sugar, da, da, da. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, think about it. A lot of times acne is bacteria, clogged pores, uh, a, a bad pH balance. What are you eating? You know, more water. Your dermatology um, office will have better tips for you. Even if you just go online to a dermatologist website, they're going to have some good tips. Okay. Someone says also hormonal. That's true. So, yep. Um, I hate to say it, but sometimes acne is about hygiene change your sheets often. Yeah. Do wealthy men like short hair? Um, I think most men like longer hair, at least to shoulder length or longer. I mean, if you take a survey and have men vote on what hair length they like the most, it's probably going to be close to longer, you know, because they feel like, you know, maybe it's more like, you know, seeing a man. When you have short hair, unless you have, you know, unless that's what they truly like, unless that's what they're only attracted to, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, I went and got this little wig. It's like a long bob. And if you if it's hot, like a lot of ladies don't wear like wearing super long, thick wigs in the summer, get you a thin looking straight look. Uh, you can cut it maybe to here, here, but don't go any shorter than this because guys like longer hair. You know, 
What would you wear to see your man in the hospital? <laughs> um, I mean, is, is he in there for heart reasons? Because you don't want to give him a heart attack with trying to dress him too cute. Um, okay. You know, the Dusties and the, uh, the the trolls weren't even here the last two times when I was wearing that bonnet. They saw that thumbnail and they wouldn't even click on it. So I know, you know, <laughs> they were like, mm, you know, they talk about they like low maintenance women and, and hood rats and um, pick me's, but they really don't. They only click on the video if, if the chick looks decent and then they come in and troll her because they can't have her or anyone like her. So when I was Bonetta, pick Misha Jenkins, nobody came. No trolls. It was very clear. That's my character's name. Bonetta pick Misha Jenkins. And when Bonetta was up here, you were nowhere to be found. Yeah, I wouldn't have him, Bonetta. <laughs> So, how do you stop the itchy wig feeling? Um, my wigs don't itch. I don't know. It takes a Benadryl. <laughs> That's the best I can give you. Okay. So... Men, I mean, women fail to understand that men are visuals. Yes, they're very visual. What do you think about crochet styles? I think if you can't wear it to, I don't, I, I, I don't like them. Like to me, it, it gives you a class. You know, if, if, if your hairdo is going to associate you with a certain class, don't get it. Get something that's universal, that can be polished looking, and that is appealing massively to more people. Why? Because you're going to put yourself in a category and you might miss out. That's why. So I think if you've already gotten your hair done and you want to change it up, you know, you know, wait till the hair needs to be changed and then change it to something else. You don't have to go out and, you know, waste all your money because you just got your hair done a certain way. Level up in some other ways first. And then when it's time to do a different hair look, then choose something else. You know, um, <laughs> are big butts necessary or do only Dusty's like big butts? I don't think all men like big butts. I think some do. And it's not a necessity. It's not, okay? Especially older guys with money, they don't need a big booty, okay? It's only been made, um, you know, popular and everybody's, you know, getting the butt implants. But older guys, they're used to, you know, regular booties, okay? <laughs> What would you say if a man asks you if your hair is real? It's like, um, this is actually a wig. Do you like it? You know, <laughs> it's like, no, I like, I have extensions. I have very expensive, um, Custom extensions. This sounds better. Okay. So, if someone asks you your weight, just say a lady never tells her age or her weight. You're just going to have to see me because my curves are in all the right places and you're going to love them. They haven't had any complaints. That's all you got to say. Okay. Um, what about clothes fitting undergarments? Yes. If you have like, if you're trying to wear something that's fitted and you have a couple rolls, 
try to get a smoother, um, a girdle, some type of body shaper and put that on so you're not jiggling when you walk, like your rolls. <laughs> and most um, shapewear now has to where your butt is not, you know, squished in. You can still have the jiggle in your butt if that's what you like. I don't know. But try to get something that holds stuff in and it's not hanging out. And you don't see lumpy rolls everywhere. Okay. Just because it comes in your size don't mean it's going to look good on your rolls. So make sure you get a shaper. They even sell them. They sell shapers everywhere now. You can go to the convenience store and find a shaper. Okay. <laughs> in the old days, like in the 50s and 60s, everybody used to wear those girdle things because it was just a part of what women did. You know. <laughs> I want to eat carbs so bad, but I will survive. No, keep if you're trying to lose weight quick, only eat carbs and only a little bit at breakfast because that way you have the rest of the day to burn that off. Right. So black or blonde hair. Y'all already know what I'm saying. I just don't, okay, I like black hair because it looks more classic and more pulled together, more polished. Blonde hair, especially on a woman of color, is a distraction, okay, uh, on on a, on a another, um, you know, on another skin tone. Blonde is okay, but they know that hair didn't grow out your head, okay? Some women like it because it makes them feel a certain way, the blonde hair, but you have to understand that people don't share your same opinion about that. It's going to be like, okay, you like it, but I don't. Okay. It looks okay, but you could look so much better if you did this, you know? So, mm -hmm. Man, like all the all the trolls came clicking when they saw this nice look. Let me go get my bonnet so they can leave. My bonnet. I'm gonna turn back into Bonetto Pigmisha. And then they will not click on this video. <laughs> so don't worry what men call you, you know. It's just because they can't have you. Okay. Because think about it. If even if they wanted someone like that, a prostitute, they wouldn't call her that. <laughs> they, you know, they would try to get a discount at least. <laughs> this live is sending the wrong message. Do not change yourself because you want another man. Change yourself if you want a different lifestyle. You know, you want the same dusties approaching you day after day, then keep it how you already are. If you want a higher caliber man who has many, many options and you need to compete with those options, then you need to level up. Don't listen to anyone who tells you that you should stay the same. OK, because they're trying to keep you on their level. OK, because as soon as you start leveling up, they're going to be like, why are you doing all of that? Why are you putting all that makeup on? We just go into the store. Why you got to comb your hair? Just wear your bonnet. Just put them slippers on. You ain't got to put on heels. Why? Because you're making them look bad. You're taking all the attention from them and putting it on you. They look like your maid. OK, so if your friends start tripping when you start trying to level up and look decent because you want to attract uh, somebody better than you know, your last man or, you know, guys don't know how to treat you, then it's because they don't feel like they can do it or they don't want you to surpass them. So do it to make a man. That's what I would do. Like, well, we're, I'm going to the store. I'm going to look good. Okay. You're just going to look like my nanny or my maid. Just keep on going, you know. 
I'll let you push the cart. I'm going to walk like three steps ahead. Um, don't. Just wear your Dollarama slides and dirty socks. Oh my gosh. Can you dress up for the first dinner date? As an example, uh, if you're going to a nice place, dress really nice, you know. Um, these comments are going too fast. <laughs> what are some good self-employment gigs? Well, they're not gigs. They're more like businesses or careers. You have to be serious about them. You got to put more effort into them and you have to be a self-starter. You can't just pop up for five minutes and do something. You know, you have to be about it. You know, you got to have a lot of self-discipline to start a business. In fact, we're going to be starting a business group to give people ideas on how to make money on their own without having to work for people very soon. So y'all stay tuned for that. Um, both men and women are invited. No, this is not my Walmart necklace. This is from Loft, but it was only $4 because it was on sale. <laughs> um, when you get the man, you take off those makeup and filters, honey, he's gone. Get a man who wants you for you. This ain't no filter. Okay. I'm on, I'm live. This ain't no filter. Um, and when I take it off, it's still I still look good, you know. I don't look like a totally different person, that's for sure. You can recognize me. <laughs> but that person that said that, when you take it all off and he loves you for you, it's because he got kids by you and he have to love you. But he, he might be loving somebody else too that look better. Okay. So what I'm saying is. Keep your looks up because men are visual. No matter what anybody tells you, unless they're going blind and got cataracts, keep your looks up. Okay? Don't listen to people who say, oh, they should love you for who you are. Men don't love like women. And you know that by now. You should know that by now. If you don't, slap yourself. Okay? They love to look at you. They love how you make them feel. They love people look at him in public when he's with you. They love you because they can wake up and smile instead of go like this, instead of cringe. That's why they, that's the main reason that they picked you. They picked you because you look good. You can, they can wake up to you. Uh, you're not walking around looking like Bonetta Pigmisha all day. You know? They're going to love, they fell in love with you when you looked your best or at least decent. They didn't fall in love with you looking crazy. They just put up with that. They deal with it so that when you do get dressed and when you do get ready, it's all worth it. Okay. So y'all can believe that if you want to, but it's just not true. Um. Bon Bonetta Pigmisha. Yes, that's my character's name. And women like that will think that their man is going to love them forever, regardless of what they look like. But then when they find out the truth, oh, he's been cheating on me and da da da, da then they get mad. Then they want to snatch the bonnet off and, and get, uh, get glam. But then it's too late because they're just laughing at He's just laughing at you now because you didn't let yourself go so long. You can't fix it in two weeks. Okay. So keep it up. <laughs> A man will not love you for you. That's exactly right. He is not your child, not your father. He will not love you unconditionally. There are some conditions and most of it, is visual. Okay? Please remember that. Don't don't let the old sayings that people said a long time ago, don't let fake morals and whatever, you know, self-help books tell you that you're good enough as you are. 
If you're the only one that thinks that and nobody else does, obviously it's not true. Okay. So like I said, if you're out and about and you dressed for yourself and then you come home upset because nobody asked you for your number, flirted with you, it's because you didn't dress for them. You dressed for you. They left you alone to be with yourself. Okay. <laughs> if you walk out looking like crazy cat lady, they not come up to you. Okay. I'm just saying. So it is true. Don't be lying to them. It is true. The only reason that they would ever go up to uh, Bonetta Pick Misha is if they need their rent pay paid, a, a place to sleep, um, some free food, or some easy pickings. Okay? That's the only reason they would ever approach you looking like that. Because you're going to take a compliment 10 times more seriously than a woman who knows she already looked good. You know? Like... If someone walks up to me and says, oh, you look so pretty, I'm like, thank you. I'm not going to say, oh, stop lying, boy. Or, you cute, too. I'm not going to say all that. I'm fake. Basically, uh, I know. Thank you. Why? Because you put all this effort into it. You better look decent. You know, so many guys come in your inbox talking about, hey, beautiful, you are so beautiful. Like, I... I do it on purpose. I, I put all this makeup on. I do my hair on purpose so I can look good. Okay. I already know that. What else you got? You know? Um, but if you don't do nothing to yourself and, and somebody sees your inner beauty and they come in your inbox talking about you beautiful, for real, what's beautiful about me? Because I sure don't see it. You know? Oh, I love your eyes, your skin. Oh, your hands. You know, then you think they really love you for you. <laughs> That's a setup. So make sure you're dressed to impress, not for yourself. Okay. If I was going to dress for myself, if you go watch my older videos where I had on cat lady clothes, Hair everywhere, you know, um, crazy looking nails. Yes, I fell into it. I dressed for myself, but that only lasted about one year. Then I was like, hold up, wait a minute. I need to practice what I'm preaching, okay? Uh, even though I've been married for so long, for 12 years, I'm still ain't going to let it. I'm still not going to get to that point ever again, you know? So... <laughs> what about undies? I wear some cute underwear. Don't wear granny panties. Throw them out. Mm -hmm. Um. So, yep. Yeah, how did how to how to move hair? How to move hair? I don't, I don't know. Like like this, move it. I I don't know if that's what you were asking. What made me level up? Um, first of all, I had the means to do it. That's that's very important. I had the time. Um, I had the will. Mm, you know, I had motivation. And I thought, I mean, I can only get better. So why not? You know, if you if you can look better, why not? Why wouldn't you? I can look better than this. I can go all out, you know. Um, so why not keep improving yourself? It's um, uh, so if you can do better, do better. You're not supposed to be the same as you were ten years ago. You're supposed to be more. Uh, improved you know if you watch a lot of celebrities a lot of them look better now than they did when they were younger because they they've been exfoliating getting facials you know money botox whatever they got to do that's what they're doing and they're not letting themselves look crazy you know some of some of them age naturally but a lot of them will spend money to look good still i mean 
have trainers, you know, special diets. They go to the max because that's their job. Mm -hmm. How to remove leg hair, shave, nair, wax, sugaring. There's a technique called sugaring and it's like they just, they take sugar and um, they can remove hair like that too. Um, so yeah, I, I think a lot of women start taking better care of themselves as they get a little bit older because they realize that if they don't, they're not going to be happy. Now, when you get to be an older lady, you can still look good. You don't have to look young, but you can look good. You know, you don't have to be looking 25. You can look your age, but look nice and put together, you know? Some women just fall off the map and don't even try. I know. I know women who are younger than me probably would look better than me if they did something with themselves that just don't do anything. You know, you're wasting your youth. Somebody out there looking bad would kill to have your features and you sitting them, letting them go to waste. Okay. Your life could be 20 times better. You can quit working wherever you work and level yourself up. But some women just don't think like that. They don't feel like it's important because they've been taught that it's not important and that you need to work hard and do stuff for yourself. And they've just been taught everything. Yes, it's it's going to help them, but they could be in a much better position if they used what they had, you know, already, naturally. Mm -hmm. If a man just wants sex, how do you get them to take you out on a date? Refuse to see them, refuse to talk to them until they ask you out. Keep telling them that you're going to dinner whenever they call or respond. I'm going to dinner. I'm on my way to dinner. Eventually, they're going to ask you to dinner because that's the only way Only that's the only that's way they're going to see you because you're always going to dinner. People find you worthy of dating. If they, find, if they hear that other people find you worthy of dating, they might try to date you as well. Um, just like, no, I'm on my way out to dinner. I have plans. Keep denying them until they ask you out to dinner. Okay? That's how you do it. Until they get the hint and the clue. Well, I'm free next. I'm free in a few days around seven o'clock. So let me know what your plans are. Maybe we can do something. Now, seven o'clock is dinner time. So if they don't invite you to dinner, if they invite you to chill, then just tell them, you know what? I think I'm going to. I don't think I'm going to make it because someone asked me for dinner. And I haven't eaten yet, so there you go. You know, keep it keep it going like that. Why do people or men sometimes judge people how they look? Why do people or men? Because that's the first thing they see, you know. They don't know who you are. They don't know what you're thinking. All they can see is what you look like. And usually your looks are a reflection of how you care about yourself and how you treat yourself and how your lifestyle is and things like that. It's You can tell a lot about someone just by looking at them. How do you look attractive during the winter? Take care of yourself. Wear cute clothes, sweaters, boots. Make sure your hair is done. Makeup, nails. I mean, it's the same, except you just wear more clothes. <laughs> um, what if, what if there's new women? All they gotta do is look at the other videos. Lol. Huh? Um. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I have the old videos still up. Can shorts be classy? If they're at a certain length, I say mid thighs, good length, good, good length. Uh, if they're if they're not super tight, if they're fitted in a classic fit, I think it's I think they're cute. You know, 
the material as well. They have some cute linen shorts. They have some cute like sear sucker shorts. They have some cute, like right now I have on some Lily Pulitzer shorts and they're kind of like a denim material, but they have a print on them and you can put a nice belt with it where you can wear uh, like an Oxford shirt with it. You can wear a t-shirt with it. It's just like, you know, like chino pants, but if you get the shorts, you can look classy in shorts. Um, some blue jean shorts are classy too. Um, just depends on what type of look you're going for, where you're going. But I think they can be classy if you wear them the right way and you have the body type to wear it. Okay. Okay. Do you have a Pinterest board? I have a lot of them. Yes. That's how I, you know, I take, I do on Pinterest, I take all the outfits in my closet and I like type in one item that I have and how, you know, how to make outfits with it. And usually I have most of the things. So I have all my outfits I can put together in my closet on my Pinterest board um, just through searching other people's stuff that they post. So everybody has certain things in their closet. What about jumpsuit? It depends if you are thin. If you have the body to pull off a jumpsuit, it is a trend right now, but it is not. I don't think it's super classic, but if you wear classic colors, no patterns, you know, maybe a solid color that fits you well, you could probably get away with it. <laughs> so, like, I wouldn't dare put on a pantsuit. I mean, a, a jumpsuit. I just wouldn't dare do it, you know. <laughs> I'm not built for jumpsuits. Let's just put it that way. Um, but if you are, you know, see what it looks like. And look at the type of women that you want to aspire to. And if they're wearing jumpsuits and you have similar shape, great. If the type of women who have the lifestyles you want don't wear a certain thing, then don't wear it. You know? I used to do Pinterest. Yeah. Okay. Um. How to have nice nails. Go get them done. Or keep them short and just get um a classic color or French tips. You know, I, I say have them done. Or even if you can't afford nails, they have press on nails now. If you just wear them to your date and then pop them off when you get home. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I used to be acrylic. I mean, I used to be allergic. I still am allergic to acrylic nails. So they have this new stuff called dipping powder. And it's the same, like, it makes your nails look just like it has acrylic on it. But it's all natural. And it strengthens your nail. So if you're allergic to that, ask for dipping powder. And you, you can choose the color. Show that necklace again. This one necklace. I got it off. I got it um, at Loft. It was $4 on sale, normally $18, but I got it on sale. So it's silver and pearls. And then it has a little few rhinestones in this part. It's it's classy, yet trendy. You can wear it with jeans, um, a black dress. You can wear it pr with pretty much anything. So it's a very versatile piece. So if you just have to buy one or a couple of accessories, something like this is going to take you for further than, you know, something that has a bunch of color in it. Um, thank you. What would you wear going to a wedding or going to somewhere like that? Um, it depends on what season the wedding is, where the wedding is, what type of wedding it is. Is it in a church? Um, so if it was a spring wedding, I would, you could wear something like a, pastel color, um, nice long flowing sundress that's kind of fancy. You could wear a, um, what do you call it? A sheath dress um, in nice spring or floral with heels, um, something like that. If it's in the winter, uh, something maybe more formal, you know, maybe just like a black dress or don't outdo the bride, though. You can't wear white or red. 
No white or red. <sighs> Do you go to church? No, I'm sorry. I haven't gone to church since I was a teenager. Well, no, since I worked in the funeral business because I used to have to go to church all the time for funerals. Yeah. Mark says he goes to church. Okay. How often do you get your hair done? I do my own hair. This is a wig. But if you get your hair done, I say every couple of weeks if if you need a cut. Someone says, I believe all women are pick me's. Well, it's better to be a pick me to a wealthy person than to be a pick me to a dusty person. Okay. And most women who get wealthier men, or at least men who have a career that can, you know, provide for them, usually the man came up to them and pursued them because they had the confidence and the money to be able to do so. And most women that have lots of options are not pick me's because they have lots of options. You know what I mean? So most women are not really pick me's because they have options. Mm -hmm. So become a bad boy. So become a bad boy. No, become just get some money. You don't have to be bad. There's nothing worse than somebody who turns bad because they can't get a woman being nice. But most of the time it's because you just don't have money. <laughs> you know, you might be a nice guy. You might be mannerable. You might you might be all of that. You might be the perfect gentleman. But if you can't take your date to a nice place, if you can't spend money on her, if you can't buy her a nice gift on Valentine's Day, that's that's what they want. OK, you don't have to be evil and mean. All you got to do is just get some money. I'm serious. I'm just being honest. If they left you and you did everything right, look at your pockets. Look at your bank account. That's what it is. I promise you. They're not going to tell you because they don't want to hurt your feelings. But it is your money. Okay? <laughs> I have so many guys that write me asking me to help them get their exes back. And I'm like, what do you do for a living? Well, I don't have a job right now. They ain't coming back. Okay. Well, um, you know, they're trying to better themselves and you are holding them back. Get your money right. That's what I tell them. Get your money right and they'll be running back. Sometimes men like you because you have money. That's right. Those are called dusties. Or men that want you to be Bob the Builder. And build them up. So what's your favorite necklace? Um, I think, I don't know. My favorite necklace is probably the one with my initials. My monogram. Mm -hmm. It's the gold one. Is it worth trying to marry professional athletes or entertainers? No, you're going to be wasting a lot of time. It's, it's fun to date them so that when you do meet a professional career man that has steady income and is going to be home every night, you can impress him with, oh, I used to date such and such. You know, it's, just use it to impress other men. But I wouldn't I wouldn't seek them for marriage. Uh Do you have a dog? Yes, I have a chihuahua. I always wanted to date a football player. My sister married an NFL football player. You don't want that life. Um, Believe me. Yeah, if you're only marrying for money, do it. But after a while, after you're used to having money, it's it, it's different, you know. You're still gonna you're gonna be disrespected a lot. 
So dating one, fun, marry one, probably not fun. Mm-hmm. Yes. The best, if you ever meet an athlete, the best thing you can do is get him to take you shopping or on a vacation and then just disappear after that. Just get something out of him and just take a few pictures and use it to um, impress other men with money so they can give you more. That's all I would use them for. Um, <laughs> sometimes I feel like someone may think I'm a hooker, LL. <laughs> Um, would you rather them think that you're giving it up free and easily? I don't think people would think you're a hooker if you just have high standards and you don't deal with broke men. That's just it. I would like to get a doctor or a medical professional, but 50 plus, but where and how is the question? Um, most of doctors are narcissistic. Um, and... They have lots of options, so be careful what you ask for. The mentality of an athlete and the corp guy is totally different. Yep. Why, Shira, why would a rich man choose a low-maintenance woman? Because he's cheap. And he's trying to save all his little money. And he doesn't want... Uh, if a rich man chose a low maintenance woman, it's, it's so that she would not leave him or have high self-esteem so he can cheat on her whenever he felt like it with high maintenance women and that he would be allowed a mistress. Okay, think about it. And she would be silly enough to sign a prenup as well because she don't look that good. So she think she didn't hit the lottery. Um, That's the only thing I can think of if I was a man. That's the only reason I would choose one. <laughs> so why don't you, why don't you wear no makeup? No makeup? Why don't I wear, why don't I wear no makeup or why do I wear makeup? I like makeup, okay? <laughs> and a lot of guys like makeup. I like to look my best. Girl, that grammar. So the thing is, dressing for what you're meant like. My kids in the next room, so I can't really say what I want to say. But a lot of guys who are with, out with their chick, who are who is not dressed cute, will notice someone that is and look at them and admire them. Even if it's just instinct, it's male instinct, they're going to look, okay? You're, then the chick will get mad that he's with. I thought you said you didn't like all of that weave and makeup. Why are you looking at her? Because they can't help it because it is attractive, okay? It makes heads turn. It grabs attention, okay? So don't be upset. If you, if whatever he's turning his head to look at, that's what he likes. Okay. <laughs> Is it possible to keep a man who cheat for self-esteem? Um. Is it possible to keep a man who cheat for self-esteem? I mean, if that, I don't know, like, unless he got money, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Let him go if he's broke. <laughs> if I had to sell myself, what would be my starting price? I don't, I would not sell myself. It would have to be a long-term contract, like, you know, marriage. You would have to make a certain amount of money. You have to provide me a certain lifestyle. You would have to make sure I didn't have to go work for anyone. You know, I couldn't give you a price because I don't know your potential. You know, I don't know how much you're going to be earning in the future. So I'm just going to make it a long-term contract called marriage. <laughs> 
And whatever you bring in, a half of it's mine. So that's half of your money. That's my price. <laughs> half of what you're going to make today, tomorrow, in 10 years, 15 years, 20 years into the future. That is my price. <laughs> Yes. What if your man is physically attracted to another race of woman, but also is attracted to you? Do you think a woman should start trying to imitate that race or facial features? Um, I think most men are attracted to all races. Most men will find beauty in every race. You know, um, if they have a preference. And you, and you notice that, you have to ask yourself, is that what they really want? Are you a placeholder? Um, do they only like that race and date you because they think people would judge them? You know, where, where is their heart? You know, do they love you? Would they replace you with someone if given the opportunity, you know, ask yourself that. What do you do when your man Googles at other women in front of you? He don't. How you doing? <laughs> um, I think I would be like, I would look and see what he was looking at. I'm like, okay, what well, she got that I ain't got? Okay, she got a booty. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Um, then I would say, okay, well, I mean, if I was a man, I'd look too. I wouldn't get jealous. Like, I, unless I'm looking ratchet and nowhere near that and I couldn't replace him with someone better or the same, then I would get mad. I would get mad, but I would really just be mad at myself but not being able to look decent. So I would just look to see what he was looking at. And if it was something that I could not do, like extra body parts or whatever, then I understand why he's looking because it's different. Okay. Just like if a tall dude walked and you looked up and like, oh my God, your man is just normal height. He can't help that. He can't grow tall, you know. <laughs> but if the person is attractive, people are going to look. If he's oogling and being disrespectful, that's a different thing. If he's oogling and go, oh, my God, look at her. That's disrespectful. And he doesn't respect you. Mm-hmm. I'm done with mine and I like, like I said, there is evil and good. Just be the best you. Generalization should in, impact you. Doctors pay a lot of malpractice fees and get student loans. Yeah. And go for the surgeons. If you're going to go for anything, go for a surgeon. If Eve can get a billionaire, so can I. That's true. You know, she she wasn't like this supermodel. She was an average, you know, chick. <laughs> right? Where to meet men? Men are always going to look and so will women. Yep. So I will not date a married man. Hell no. <laughs> Sometimes they'll lie to you and tell you they're single. So <laughs> be careful. Um, it, you know, also it's the type of man, if you're with a certain type of man, 
some men find it masculine to turn around and look at women. It's kind of like catcalling. And they grew up with it. Their friends do it. Their family members did it. So they do it because it makes them feel like a man, even if they're with a woman. They have to look if all other guys are looking or they're, they'll feel whipped. Oh, he can't look his woman with him. So some do it out of defiance. You know, some men will do it just out of defiance. They'll be like, you don't control me, you know. So if you're extra controlling, men might do it on purpose just to defy you. But so make sure it's not that. Yeah. So, you know, make sure. How do you make a narcissist to be obsessed with you? Y'all keep asking me about these narcissists. Y'all want to date them? I told you. I told y'all so many times. They're not, how they going to become obsessed with you when they're obsessed with themselves? You can't, you're never going to be number one. They will always be number one. Okay. That would be like James trying to figure out how to be, how to make me obsessed over him. Why? (laughs) Because that's their answer because they're already obsessed with themselves. That's what it is. Um, are you saying you're a nurse? I'm just saying, I'm, I'm just saying I could not be obsessed with someone if I'm too into myself. You know what I mean? (laughs) Find a man who is not obsessed with himself and more into you. Can we get a compilation of actual transformations? Yeah, I'm working on that. I'm trying to get more photos from the women, the women in my level up group who are newly leveled up. So I only have a few. I'm still waiting on more. Some women are very private and they don't want their picture out in public. So if y'all are my level up group and y'all haven't put the split screen. If you don't know how to make a split screen, don't put your pictures down there because I'm not going to take them. Make a split screen photo of before and after and put it in that post. It's a pin post in the level up group. And I was going to make a video, but I don't have enough photos. So yeah, y'all. What does James do for a living? I don't even know the name of his title. Some global something, something, something with technology. He works with technology. Um, on a global scale. Worldwide. Oh, what's his sign? He's a Sagittarius. I, I don't do water signs or air signs. I need strong fire or earth signs. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, yes. I think the only, I'm a Pisces. I think the only other sign I would do well with would be Sagittarius are controlling and manipulative, but, but I'm way more controlling and manipulative. So he didn't his match. How you doing? <laughs> yeah. He didn't study he didn't study psychology and mentalism though. Mm-hmm. So um and he's not controlling at all, actually. <laughs> Yeah, James is the least controlling person that I know. If your aim is money and he runs dry, his well runs dry during trials, how does he sustain the essence of the relationship for you? He will be single, so he won't have to sustain a relationship. How you doing? 
<laughs> he can't pro he can't he can't fulfill his masculine role, so he don't need a role. <laughs> if you were hired to do a job and you can no longer fulfill your duty, do you think they're gonna keep you on and sustain you or um after your run unemployment runs out? No, they're gonna kick you to the curb and say, Good luck. Okay. Um Yep. I'm not, you know, so peaceful men aren't attractive. Peaceful men? You know what you mean by peaceful? <laughs> so someone says for richer or richer. That's right. And that's the words that James said in our marriage vows. He really did change it because if you... If you believe in law of attraction, you're not going to say or poor. You're going to say for richer or for richer. He wasn't wish wishing that on himself. <laughs> so if the economy fixed your husband income, would you support the household? It wouldn't because he has a career. That means he can work anywhere. For himself, for other people in other countries. He will always have income. Is hair to butt too long? Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, and you know, when you make a certain type of money, a certain amount of money, when you're in a certain tax bracket, you invest a lot of money. And those investments are always going to be there. Um, can a guy working at Walmart even date a woman also working at Walmart? Or should he pick up homeless women? I know some couples who met at Walmart. Okay. But you, mm, I ain't going to say nothing else. <laughs> It's possible. Yes, it's possible. Is the level up group the same as pick me? No. Level up group is to help you improve how you look, speak, talk, dress so that you can attract better quality of man. Pick me group is a satire group. It's fun. It's funny. We post stuff that pick me's would post. It's It's just fun. Also, I have the bonnets and do rags group. It's a paid group. You can go live in there. You can put your ratchet outfits on and make you a character like I did. Um, Bonetta Pikmisha is my name. See if you can come with, up with a creative name. You know. <laughs> Whoever's in the bonnets and do rag group, I'm going to make a challenge for the best ratchet uh, short video. Y'all got to come up with a character. That way we can role play. We can we can split screen and talk back and forth. It'll be fun. Mm -hmm. well, I still have the gold digging group. Mm-hmm. I have a housewife's group too. Stop this bonnet mess, Shira. Uh -huh. That's why I'm taking it to the group. Ooh, bonnet Mc, McDustman. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> they are not role playing, it is their real life. Even if it is, you can say it's role playing and still have fun, okay? Did I get my lips injected? No, I just put on lipstick. When you have like a good matte liquid lip, you can draw, you can make your lips look bigger. See? So, I'm probably allergic to that stuff they inject unless it's your own fat or whatever. I don't know. 
I'm allergic to a lot of stuff. Like I'm allergic to hair dye, acrylic. I know I would be allergic to Botox or some type of filler. I know I would be. I, you know, I'm allergic to uh, stuff like that. <laughs> I'm going to drive around NYC and try to find a homeless woman and take her to Olive Garden. Watch your wallet. Mm, she might get mad if you take her to Olive Garden. She's like, you going to take me somewhere nice. So she going <laughs> to... What brand of lipstick is this? This is the Fenty Beauty uh, by Rihanna. It is that red color. I forgot the name of this color is. You can get it at Sephora. There we go. It's called Uncensored. Yes. What are you going to do when your hair turns gray? Oh, I did find a hair dye that I'm not allergic to. It's called Arctic Fox. And it comes in like a lot of bright colors, but it also comes in black. So it smells like grape. It doesn't have those harsh chemicals in it. It looks like a tube of acrylic paint. And you just squirt it in like a little bowl. And you take a little brush and brush it on your grays. And it lasts about couple of weeks and it washes out and you can just keep putting it in there. Um, there's also henna and that's all natural. And there's also the gray cover sprays and sticks and whatever, whatever. But I probably like my dad is all white, like his hair, it turned all white. <laughs> so I might go all the way white when I get old. Shoot, I don't know, but I have wigs. <laughs> And by the time I turn all the way white, James will be gone. <laughs> um, what are your favorite books? Ooh, my favorite books. My own books, the ones I wrote. Too Pretty to Pay Bills. You can buy it on Amazon.com. It is an ebook. Self. Uh, I'm self plug. Hey, you asked. Someone says whole tactics. <laughs> do I get along with James' family? I sure do. No, um, I, his sister and his mom comes here like every year for either Thanksgiving or Christmas, sometimes in the summer to visit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How old of a guy is too old if you want kids with him? Men can produce up until their 70s, 80s, child. Don't matter. As long as he can take care of them. Wigs are terrible. My head hurts after wearing the wig. Uh -huh. you, can, you need to buy a comfortable one or have one custom made to fit your head. Or get one that's bigger. How do you get, like, by his mom? Um, I think moms like girls who would have the dude's, the, her son's best interest in mind. Someone who reminds her of herself. So ask him about his mom. Ask her what her favorite colors are. Ask her what she did growing up. Ask her what her hobbies are. Then you can say, oh, I did this growing up and my hobbies are this. People tend to like people that remind them of themselves. So that's how you do it. Um, because it's kind of a compliment, you know, oh, you married, you're, you're into someone that reminds you of your mom. That's so sweet. You know,
yeah. I know I was like James' mom because I talked to her on the phone one time. <laughs> and she was like, I'll tell you all that story another time. But she like she says what's on her mind. She doesn't she doesn't sugarcoat anything. And I was like, I, I now I see why James likes me. <laughs> Cause I give him to I, I tell him straight up, you know, just like his mom. I was like, hey, your mom is gangster. I like her. <laughs> she reminds me of myself. Or maybe I remind you of her. I don't know. But I like I like her. <laughs> so mm -hmm. what if James friends liked you first and James stole you from him a lot of James friends liked me and the one was trying to steal me from him mm -hmm. but it just all depends, you know. I already knew what I had with James, and I wouldn't finna throw all that away to start over. I put in work. I'm going to see that thing to the end. <laughs> Do you shop on Just Fab or Shoe Dazzle? Uh, no. Sorry. I see all those shoes at Goodwill. <laughs> I went to Goodwill because sometimes I find nice things there that I can sell on like Poshmark. And all them shoe dazzle shoes are in there. I was like, all these drag queen, like I've seen drag queen shoes in there, shoe dazzle shoes in there. Um, yes. I found an, uh, a $500 jacket in Goodwill for $9. Um, yeah. It's, uh, what was the name of that? St. John. <laughs> I found like a bunch of stuff. Like I, I think I have, I found a Burberry sweater. That's like a $300 sweater. I found, I found so much, like, I go for the high-end items so that I can put them on Poshmark and sell, um, because that's one of my little side businesses that I do, and as soon as, like, as soon as someone buys it, I just print out the shipping label that they pay for and just stick it in the mail in a, in a little box or an envelope. Mm -hmm. Y'all like Fashion Nova? I ordered from Fashion Nova one time, and that was the last time, and all those clothes are at Goodwill right now. <laughs> what is your Poshmark? Um, Leticia P. Yes, I don't have a lot of stuff on there right now, but um, just the stuff that I have. I'm going to be putting more later. But I do have some stuff. I sold a lot of stuff already. I got to go start getting ready in a few minutes because I got to go to a party tomorrow. Someone invited me to a nice party and I want to get ready and wear cocktail evening clothes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, hi from New York City. Hi, how are you? Am I invited? No. <laughs> Do women try to get in your business and get or get too nosy with you? I don't really hang around too many women. Just maybe one. Uh, only person that really tries to get in my business is my mom. <laughs> but she learned that I'm not gonna talk. <laughs> Did I customize this wig? No, I just took it out the box and cut the lace off and threw it on my head, y'all. I don't really like this wig. This is a new wig. 
because it doesn't have any combs up here, just one comb in the back, but it's tight on your head. So it moves around. Look, I can go from a forehead to a three head. I'm like Zendaya now. <sighs> Hello, my name is Zendaya. I can go from Zendaya to Tyra, Bank, to Tyra Banks. Look. <laughs> Zendaya. <sighs> Don't y'all laughing. That's the only thing that bothers me about her, that hairline. Man. Ooh, she had that Alicia hairline. Alicia, I think he, uh, either his head grew or he got electrolysis. That's right in the middle. That's about a four and a half, three quarter head. <laughs> uh, see, if you have combs, it's not gonna move. Like I didn't like, I didn't know that this wig did not have combs up there because I wouldn't have bought it. Um, I should have looked closely at it. But it's good for videos, you know. Probably not gonna wear this outside the house unless you know. I mean, I might, but it's all right. <laughs> I love, I love Zendaya. I wouldn't make a fun of her. I like her. Um, can I have a consultation without Facebook? If you have a local number in the U.S. <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, I think Snapchat has um, calling now. So if you have Snapchat, maybe. Bye. Hi, Sasha. Y'all need to go get dressed. Oh, what time is it? Yeah, y'all need to start go get. Well. Shira, how do you talk to men in with seduction? Remember, they're visual and they have one thing on their mind. Cater to those things and you get them in your hand. And they'll do whatever you want. Men are wearing beard wigs. Y'all better watch out. <laughs> I don't like beards. Sorry. <laughs> How to deal with jealous women interested in in ruining your life. I don't deal with them. Just don't. Cut them out. Cut them out. They say, uh, we can no longer be friends. You got free Starbucks cake pops. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all a story about Starbucks. That's good. Something happened to me at Starbucks too, y'all. I was in the drive-thru in the morning and I drive up to pay for my food. The Starbucks worker says, oh, the gentleman in front of you already paid for your food or your meal or whatever, your tab. And I was like, really? Wow, that was nice. <laughs> I would have ordered more if I knew he was paying, y'all. And they, they, uh, they were in like a white bin. They just drove off. They weren't even trying to circle back around to see if I was looking for him or anything. That's, that's, that's class. Mm -hmm. Um, Starbucks is overrated. I like their breakfast though. They have good breakfast. Mm -hmm. Better than McDonald's breakfast. I'm telling you. Oh, I got a $25 gift card to a restaurant, too. I Well, I got it for taking a survey. It was like a five-minute survey. I was like, what? Thank you. How do you determine class? It's certain people don't look for anything in return when they do something nice. A lot of people offer, um, you know, it's also how people stand and conduct themselves. Um, how they speak to you, how they address you. It's, it's, you can just tell 
if they're classy or not. Hmm. Do you think Steve Harvey will leave Marjorie for a younger woman now? He, she know all his secrets. He can't go nowhere. <clears throat> it's too late. She's too smart. She's very strategic. She knows stuff about him that probably would ruin him. So he can't go anywhere. What type of hairstyles would you suggest to reflect class? Anything straight and sleek and not too complicated, you know, something that you could just be like, like something like this, something long and straight and thin. Don't get them super thick wigs. Is that about this huge on your head? Because no, no one believes that came out your head. Okay. Anything that's simple, classic, and not a crazy color. Something that looks real, you know, um, if you don't have edges, don't pull your wig all the way back like here and all this is, you know, bare. Pull it up and glue that thing to your head, okay? <laughs> but I notice, um, I notice a lot of people who don't have edges are big foreheads or a receding hairline as a woman, they don't really see it because they're so used to it. But it, your forehead should stop right here. If it goes above this, your hairline has receded. Okay, pull that thing down. <laughs> um, Like Naomi Campbell's wig. <laughs> Yes. Um. Mm -hmm. Shira, most men despise fat women and some do like them, but for the most part, are they excused? Um, just depends on what type of man, you know. Um, if you're obese or overweight and you're not proportionate, it doesn't look attractive to certain men. Some men like BBWs. Some men like thicker women. You know, it just depends on what they like. So wealthier men, they they have lots of options. So unless they're into that, they're probably going to opt for someone who's a little bit thinner and more attractive to the majority of people because that's his trophy. You know, it's kind of like a car. If you can afford any car, are you going to go get a, um, let me think of a car name. Um, if you can afford a Ferrari, if you can afford a Lexus, a Benz, a BMW, a Jaguar. If you can afford all the luxury cars, why would you go and get you a minivan? Unless you were really into minivans and you wanted to customize that and put some spinning rims on it and put some TVs in it and make it some type of functioning rolling studio or something like that, you wouldn't want it. So you have to really just want something like that. You know, you have to be into it. You have to have a, almost a fetish for it, you know? Um, or you just go get you one that's fat too, child. There's some fat rich people out there. Okay. <laughs> I see it all the time. I see a lot of fat dudes that have money. Mm -hmm. They don't need a skinny woman because, you know, what they're going to do, squish her? <laughs> Letitia, this lady always comes to me asking me questions about my finances. 
if I have a man, et cetera, et cetera, how do I excuse her politely? Lie. Just tell her what she want to hear. Yes, I have a man. I have two men, actually. And they all pay my bills, so I don't have to worry about money, baby. Just tell her that. She'll stop asking. I know I would. <laughs> My sugar daddy is so fat, so he don't mind me being plus size. See? Get you a fat one. <laughs> uh, uh-huh, uh-huh. There's kids outside. She were, a man said our relation was over and three weeks later searched me on Facebook. What does that mean? That means he's trying to see if you've moved on and done better than him. It doesn't mean you need to go chase him, though. I mean. Mm -hmm. It means whoever he was probably trying to uh, date dumped him. Now he's looking backwards for you. Um. When are you going to launch a dating website? I try, but no man want to join. Like, the type of men that I would let in there, they don't want to join because they're not on this channel, obviously. You wealthy, you're not on some channel like this. So I can't really start a dating group if I don't have any men in there. Mm -hmm. How do you know if a guy is not into you anymore? If you're not a priority... If you ask him to do something and he makes excuses not to do it, if he's embarrassed to take you out in public, if he won't call you or text you, he's he's not into you. Um, in past videos, you mentioned putting freezer. Um, does da, 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 da. um, I think before all of that, he came to me. He came to me first and foremost for it. I didn't. I didn't even try. So James was actually in the middle of talking to some other chick at the bar. As soon as I walk in and sit down, he just leaves that chick in circles and comes over and talks to me. So um, and he's still here today, child. Even after two kids. Mm-hmm. What do you think about a woman having natural hair? I think it's great if you're dressing for yourself and you love it. You know, that's that's wonderful. I mean, most people's hair is natural under their wigs anyway. You know, so if you put up a picture of two, t two women, one with natural hair and one with a wig and weave, and you ask which one is more attractive, most of the guys are going to go for the wig. And that's just reality. So if you're trying to get male attention, go for the wig. When you're not trying to get male attention, wear your natural hair. You know, the thing is, you can take a wig off. You know, <laughs> I need more money to level up. Is driving for Uber or interest act okay? Intercart, Instacart okay? If that's how you make your money. Mm -hmm. um, I'm glad you look pretty in this video. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, I'm not trying to be politically correct on anything because the reason is evidence, facts, preferences, you know. You can argue all day why you shouldn't wear a wig and why you should love the way you look. But then at the end of the day, do you have the type of man you want who's supporting you, buying you stuff, paying all your bills? Would you rather have that or would you rather have your politically correct ideal? And that's it. Okay, that's all I'm saying. 
<laughs> so it's just like competition for a job. It's just like a job. Yes, you're gonna, someone else will get hired over you because of what you look like. And that's just it. Even if y'all are the same race, if some chick comes in with a, a straight wig on and you come in with dreadlocks or braids or an afro, most likely the chick with the wig is going to get the job. Okay. Why? More professional. Less distractive. You know, easier to be comfortable around. They can send you to here and there and people won't be offended that or something like that. Yes, it is politically incorrect. We know that. Okay. But it's reality. Murder is wrong, but people get murdered every day. Okay. It is what it is. Yes, and at the end of the day, my hair is still curly up under this wig, and I can take it off and be me whenever I feel like it. You know, that's all it is. I am not trying to prove any type of point. I'm trying to get bills paid and lifestyle. If I, when I get old and and uh, get all that insurance and I I got money and I don't I'm not looking for no man no more and I'm beyond that, then yeah, maybe I'll stand up and be like, oh yeah, you should be natural. You know, be who you are. I'll be a cat lady by then, so it won't even matter. I can dress for myself then. <laughs> yeah, you know. Someone says, I have nice hair without the wig. I know, but I don't, sometimes I'm just, I don't feel like doing anything to it. You know, if I wanted my hair like this, I would have to flat iron it. Um, and then it's humid, so it will curl back up anyway. This thing going to curl up. <laughs> <laughs> so just understand I'm not against any type of hair I am not trying to be politically correct in any way I am trying to get results that is all I'm trying to do now if you know the difference then you will understand it's not about any of that. Mm -hmm. It's just like, you know, <clears throat> in that Jay-Z song, and he says, he shines silver. Basically, I'm just going to break it down. He, he's in the field. He shines silver. He, he's all those combined, but he knows when to play his card. Okay. I know when to play this card. If you if you can be all things, you can have all things. Okay. So I'm saying. You wear <laughs> so um gotta be smart. <clears throat> it's just like Jay-Z can't go into business meetings to buy um you know, streaming companies with his pants sagging down to his uh, thighs and baseball cap on backwards. He got to put on a suit. Okay. He can't talk in slang. He got, has to speak correct English so people can understand and communicate with him. Okay. When he's going to buy major companies, he can't be all revolutionary because people will back out of the deal. He does that after he acquires the company. Okay. You got to be smart. In this world, you got to be strategic in the world. You can't be standing up for a cause if you ain't even if you can't even get anywhere. You know, I I tell people all the time. Oh, I, I'm I'm standing for people say I'm standing up for a cause. I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to build this. I'm trying to build the community. But no one will listen to you if you don't have anything. If you don't have a uh, you don't have a career, a title. If you don't have any money, all you're you're just a pawn. Okay. So get some stuff, get some money first, then get what you need to get, do what you need to do. Okay. Snatch the wig off, whatever, you know, whatever you need to do, do it. But right now you don't have anything. A lot of people don't even have a man, don't have a lifestyle, can barely afford to pay their bills, but they arguing about some hair. 
you you know stick a wig on and people start throwing money at you okay trying to take you to five star restaurants trying to uh send you gifts and stuff paying for your food at Starbucks okay <laughs> How do you get a rich man if you're scared to go out alone? Stop being scared. Go somewhere where you don't have to be scared. Go to the rich side of town. They got a lot of security if you're scared about that. <laughs> Stop being scared. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think people that are, uh, live in fear, they don't ever really get to live. Someone says, older women, make sure the wig is good quality. Yeah, make sure it's believable. Like, get a hair texture similar to your own hair texture. I see some ladies with wigs that have Asian people hair that's super shiny, Asian, uh, Japanese hair. That don't look right. Might as well put on a blonde wig too. You know, they have yakky texture. They have Brazilian. They have Peruvian texture hair, which represents a different and more ethnic texture. Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever. Let me see your doll. <laughs> <laughs> Cute, Sasha. Here you go. I love it. <laughs> you said I get more guys talk to me when I wear my Asian hair, unfortunately. But what type of guys? I mean, if you can pull it off, pull it off. But it, some people can't. That's all I'm saying. Um, ask a man who his celebrity crush is and see what type of wigs they like because they all wear them. That's true. Um. In the law of seduction, it says to model yourself after a goddess or a celebrity because men tend to fall for you faster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> money only matters. Mon only money. Money only matters to a point. Culture over cash. That's true, but no one will take you seriously if you're broke. Okay? So, you can't make major moves if you're broke. You can't get, you can't influence people majorly if you're broke. People are attracted to success. Mm, why is it called Asian hair? Because it came from Asia. Or the texture is as an Asian woman. I mean. Mm -hmm. How can you convince a man to wait till marriage without sex, without a religious excuse? Make sure he is of a faith that will wait for marriage. Okay. Go get you someone who does have that religious belief. Because no, most men aren't. They're not going to do it or unless you allow them to go with other women. They're not going to do it. Mm -hmm. You are a commercial product being harvested for energy. Yes. Even Michael Jackson said that in the 80s. I think that ain't nothing new. But are you getting what you want? You can harvest energy too. He said that and want to be starting something. He said, 
You're a vegetable and they hate you. They feed off of you. You're a vegetable. Ow. They said if you, yeah, they said all, he already said all that. He's that he's my guru. <laughs> but then think about it. Think about Michael Jackson. Let's think about Michael Jackson. Let's use him as an example. Yeah, he looks like he really transformed his looks. He wear wigs, makeup, nose job, just totally changed everything about how himself. Went from black to white. Went from black mixed to white. Okay, yes, I love MJ. He did all of that. Do you think he would have been as successful globally if he had stayed looking like he did? And I'm not I'm not justifying it. But do you think he would have been as successful globally if he had stayed looking like how he looked in Off the Wall? The reason Michael Jackson was so famous is because he appealed to everyone universally. People could see himself in them. They could relate to him. You have Asian Michael Jackson impersonators. Um, East Asian Michael Jackson impersonators. You have white Michael Jackson impersonators. Black Michael Jackson impersonators. Um, you have Hispanic Latino impersonators of Michael Jackson. Okay? Anybody can impersonate Michael Jackson. He touched people on a global scale because he probably read the law of seduction or uh, the laws of power or something because he also appealed massively to men and women because of his androgyny. Okay. That's psycholog that is seduction on a global psychological scale. Okay. That is genius. So if you got a phone a week to get your bills paid, do what you got to do. <laughs> okay. Use what you know to get what you can get. Do I care about James happiness or feelings? He is not my child. Okay. That is not my problem. That is not my responsibility. You are responsible for your own happiness and your own feelings as a person. Okay. He is not responsible for my happiness or my feelings either. I am. Um, Has anyone broken your heart ever? Mm, I don't think I've been super heartbroken. I think I was more angry for like two days and then I was over it. But I don't think I've ever been super heartbroken. I think I've been betrayed. I think it was probably expected. So I wasn't too upset. But yeah, when I was younger. But I was over it in like two days. I had a new, I already had a backup plan anyway. I always, I always kept the plan B. So... No, I have been in love one time and they didn't betray me. I betrayed them. Oops. <laughs> so, yeah, I just watched other people. I watch their relationships. I've had my own and I see mistakes. I see how you could have avoided them. I avoided some of them and I help other people avoid lots of mistakes. You know, and I try to help people understand things on a deeper level, more simple, because a lot of people will say, oh, it's wrong to wear a bunch of makeup in a wig. But at the end of the day, are you getting what you want? Are you getting the results? If you're getting the results, then it's beneficial. So how could it be wrong? You know, if if it's beneficial to you, then and it's good. Right? <laughs> so let's think realistically yes in the perfect world we wouldn't have to do any of this people would love us for who we were we could weigh 800 pounds wear no makeup have missing teeth and people would still love us but in this world in this reality 
in this day and age, in this society, it's not going to happen. Okay? So stop trying to make it happen. It will never happen. If there's too much invested into certain things, there's too much history into certain things for it to change over 10 years. You're going to have to go another 455 years or however many years ago slavery was to get certain mentality out of people's heads. Okay. And it's not going to happen overnight. Just not ever. It won't. You know, just like it took you uh, a year to gain so many pounds. It's not, you're not going to lose it in one week. So just let's keep an open mind and let's keep reality at the top of the list because that's where we live. We don't live in politically correct land. We don't live on the earth that's 100% fair. We don't live on a planet where men are not visual. So why are we pretending like we do? Stop doing it. Get into the reality of things. Get what you can get and stop trying to fight what is inevitable. Okay. Um, Because while you're doing that, this chick is over here getting paid while you're debating about hair and bonnets and makeup, this chick over here getting paid while you going to work, sending your kid to daycare Debating on Facebook, this chick is over here going on trips, vacations, da 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 da, you know. So pick your, choose your battle wisely. If you're going to fight for something, make sure it's worthy and attainable in your lifetime. (laughs) Like me, what I'm doing, what I'm fighting for, what I stand for is absolutely attainable. Hi, Sasha. Okay. I'm too nice. How do I get men to, how do you get men to respect you? I have a video called How to Be Ruthless. Okay. Sometimes men like that, though, because they know they can't get over on you and you're a challenge. And it's like they've met their match. And, and. They're competitive, so they feel like they have to win you over. Mm-hmm. I'm going on a water fast Sunday, Saturday. Part of my, I don't know what a water fast is, but if that means you're only drinking water. I don't really believe in those type of diets because you're going to binge later anyway. Everything you lost, you're going to gain back because... You've been deprived. So be careful with those type of diets. Um, Trying to read some of these comments. Like, I'm not into any of those trendy fasts and cleanses and stuff like that. I'm not into that. Um, I'm, some of them may be beneficial or whatever, but I know if I go a couple days without doing a certain thing, I'm going to go overboard when I get my hands on some. So I ain't even going to, I'm not even going to do that. <laughs> I'll just use moderation. Mm-hmm. How do you deal with jaded older men? I wouldn't. Mhm. How do you decide with James can he participate? How do you deal with that? How do you decide with James? 
can he participate? How do you deal with that? I don't understand that question. <laughs> uh, James is a lot older than me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, James actually looks young for his age, though. James is 20, 25 or 24 years older than me. <laughs> he, he old enough to be my dad. Young dad. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Acrimony? Is that about a stalker chick? I saw the preview. <laughs> Clip on veneers. Um... They have some that you can get custom made, actually. But if you want to get the clip on, they sell that, too. Do I get up extra early to do my makeup so he doesn't see you without it? I've heard some women do that. No, he's, he knows what I look like without makeup. Um, He still says I look good. But I do put it on every day. Most of the time, he, he doesn't see me in the morning because he, he goes to work. Um, and I wake up with the kids and take them to school. He leaves like 30 minutes before we do. I mean, he, he leaves 30 minutes before we wake up. So he didn't really see me in the morning. <laughs> but I wouldn't care if he did because I'm 25 years younger than him. I'm going to look good to him Forever. <laughs> Do you help James prepare for death and afterlife? Yep, I made him get two life insurance policies. I'm ugly, but well-dressed. Do I have a chance to get a rich man? You are not ugly. Okay? If you put enough makeup and wigs on yourself, you can be beautiful. It's true. You haven't seen them YouTube transformations? There's a chance for everybody. You just have to put effort into yourself. You know, all I wear are t-shirts. Where do I purchase things if I have a big belly? Maternity store. They got some cute clothes now. You know, if you have a big stomach and you can't find clothes to fit, go to maternity store. You know. I mean, I'm not being, I'm not being, I'm not trying to be funny. Um, some women are built different and their stomach sticks out. Some people mistake them for being pregnant. You go to the maternity store, they have clothes that will kind of hide your stomach or not make you look as, you know, it's more forgiving. There's more inches in that section. I know some people that wear maternity clothes that not pregnant at all. It's just because they have more room in the waist. And because, okay, some people get their clothes altered because if their body is shaped different to where they're smaller in their leg, bigger in their midsection, 
So sometimes maternity clothes are already like that, already tailored like that. And so women just go buy maternity pants. <laughs> like, oh, these pants fit, but they're wider in the waist. So I don't have to go up a size and then have this, you know. So some people do that. I've seen it. I shoot. I had a maternity shirt that was so cute. I kept wearing it for a long time after I was pregnant. No one knew, but it was cute. <laughs> How do you deal with stress? I don't have any stress. Or I scream and let it out. When I'm mad at my kids, I don't hold it in. I I let it out. Let your stress out. Um don't hold that in. <laughs> then I'm good afterwards. Then I'm not mad anymore. If you let your stress out, you're not mad anymore. You let it go. Wealth men will still date a single mom. Don't keep talking about. Yeah. I know a lot of a lot of ladies who have kids and they're dating men with money. My cousin. Come on now. Um, yes, it is very possible. Keep yourself up. It doesn't matter. This is what they're looking at. They're not looking at your kids. This is what they're looking at. If this makes them look good, if other men think this looks good, if you're a trophy, you can have some kids. <laughs> I've been thinking about quitting my job. It's too stressful. Well, you better have some money to replace your check. Like, get you a sugar daddy before you quit. Get you some income going before you quit. Don't just quit. Mm -mm. Have another job set up before you quit. Mm -hmm. Um, so many people think that if you have a kid, you can't do certain things, but that's just not true. You can do it. Your kid, if it's, if your kid is school age, they're at school eight hours a day. They, you know, you have time, you can do stuff. What are your thoughts on dating less attractive instead of older? Um, I'm still thinking about the money on that one. I mean, if you're young, you're just not going to have the type of money an older man is going to have. And if they do, I'd rather have me a, a decent looking old man than some ugly young dude. <laughs> Shoot, you can have you can have a never mind. That I'm gonna stop myself. There are advantages to dating older men. Um, do claims they're visual. We women are visual too. Don't no woman want. A pot belly man with balding head, unless he's filthy rich. That's true. You gotta have either or. We'll overlook everything if you got money. <laughs> mm hmm Yeah, and I wouldn't have anything to talk like I wouldn't have anything to talk about with a younger man, a man my age. We would have any nothing to talk about. Like we would have nothing in common because I think I'm more mentally mature than anybody my age. I'm too psychological to, to talk with someone my age. Mm -hmm. What are we going to talk about? Video games? Mm. Like seriously, most of the guys in here that are trolling are probably close to my age or younger. And I could not sit down and have a decent or intelligent conversation with any of them. 
you know, I would only just intimidate them or I would have to play super dumb. I actually have to play, you know, mentally disabled in order to even have a conversation with them. So there would be no way for me to date anybody my age. <laughs> I have yet to meet I have yet to even meet anyone my age online, offline that could keep up with my conversation. So I couldn't do it. I need somebody old. <laughs> right, so can't go outside. <gasps> If you go do something with your hair, put your hat, put your hat on that I bought you. Okay, bye. And put some shoes on. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay. well, I, I got to go, y'all, but um, does your man have female friends? Younger men love having female friends. I see it gets messy when they get girlfriends. Um, I don't think James has any female friends. I mean, he, we have one mutual female friend, but she's way, she's older than me and she's not into men anyway. And he don't, he barely sees her, but like once every couple of years and he invites her over here. So, um, I don't think you were asking me, but I think you were asking someone else, but I just answered it anyway. My studies take me time. Should I go on or go to find a sugar daddy? I say finish school and like most girls do it at the same time. Like that's how they pay their tuition tuition, you know. <laughs> you can multitask. If you have student loans, you need to get one now. So by the time you finish school, you don't have any. Be strategic. Be smart. That's how I'm getting my loans paid, someone says. See, she's smart. Can't sugar daddies get you in trouble? No. Well, how would they get you in trouble? Does Sugar Daddy up front need to know that he is one or you have to play them well? Most of them know that they are one. They just like to play the game. So you have to convince them. Some some like, like to let you know up front and some like to play the game without ever saying it. As long as they're as long as he's giving you money to pay your bills, he know he's one. <laughs> Could you be a sugar baby in the military? I don't know. Anything is possible. <laughs> I'm getting married in September. I'm moving to Houston because my fiance lives there and we have never lived together. Any advice for me? Moving to New City, married. Um, Houston is pretty cool. I like Houston. It's very diverse. Um, lots and lots and lots of uh, fun things to do. Shopping. There's the suburb area. Then there's the city area. And then, you know, there's, there is hood areas. Um, so make sure you live in, in the suburbs. Mm hmm if you plan on starting a family, the outskirts of Houston are the suburbs. Um, so, Sasha, you ready to go outside? Yeah, I Mm-hmm. I'm going to 
Okay. Can you talk about spiritually cleansing your yoni space? <laughs> uh, I, you know what? That's more of a spiritual channel thing, but don't sleep with somebody that you cannot benefit from. That is my only advice. <laughs> okay. That's it. If Sugar Daddy wants your bank account, then he's a salt daddy. Yeah, he's a scammer. Don't give out your bank account. What is that noise? I'm in the picture here. What are you, what are you trying to do? Ride a bike? Mm hmm. I'm gonna come up here. Okay. How are you gonna ride with a helmet? With the hat? Is that your helmet? Or are you just gonna be outside? I'm gonna ride my bike with that. I don't need a helmet anymore. Yes, you do. But I don't need a helmet. But well, I'm going to wear the. I can't wear a helmet over this to hunt. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, y'all. I'm see y'all later. Bye.